The Western Hemisphere will be graced with two solar eclipses within six months. The one on April 8, 2024 will be like the time lapse you just saw from August 2017. But the next eclipse is on October 14, 2023, and it's coming fast. It'll be an annular eclipse. And the partial eclipse from that annular eclipse will be viewable by hundreds of millions of people, uh, weather permitting, of course. And if you are one of those people, make sure you use protection and practice safe solar viewing. And the best way to do that is with solar eclipse glasses. Don't look at the sun directly like some kind of idiot. Let's see if anyone gets that reference. So in a future video, I'm planning on giving away a bunch of them, around 100 or so. So I'll post another video on that, so subscribe and come back. Uh, it may be a first come, first serve kind of thing, but I'm still working on it. That should go up in a couple of weeks. A few months ago, I posted a video reviewing four AAS certified brands for adults. Thanks to everyone who used my referral links to buy these glasses. And through the process, I noticed that more than half the glasses were for these kids' glasses made by Lund Solar Systems. So I thought I'd get myself a few and test them out myself just to see if they are worth getting. And what the difference is between these and the adult glasses, these are a tiny bit more expensive. Looking at the glasses on Lund, comparing the adult versus the kids' glasses, you'll notice that the kids' glasses are a little bit more expensive. So a pack of four costs $15.49, or about $3.87 per pair. Compared to the adult glasses, a pack of five is $11.19, or $2.39 a pair. The bulkiest option here for the adult glasses is a pack of 100 for $120 or $1.20, and for kids is $180 or about $1.80. So it's not that much more expensive, but it is about 50% more. You can also find these on Amazon. I'll link to both of these in the description below. There'll be referral links either way. I would appreciate it if you would use this. It's a little bit cheaper on Amazon, so a pack of four is $14.05 instead of $15.49. And you can also get the pack of 100 for $130. So I think this is the better savings here. Uh, they only have one left in stock. Uh, the last time I looked, there was about a dozen. So uh, people are finding this deal and they are getting it. So after today uh, or after I make this video, this may no longer be available. And if you want a pack of 100 you'll have to pay $180 on the Lunt website. But in the long run, it'll be worth it to pay $1.80 per pair before you get gouged by other sellers on eBay or Amazon when it gets close to the eclipse. And in this video, I have reviews from actual kids, and we'll hear from them later in this video. Before we move any further, I want to reiterate some of the rules about observing the sun and using solar eclipse glasses. First, only use glasses that have the rating ISO 12312-2, 2015. This was reviewed in 2020 and is current as of 2023. If your glasses have just the old CE standard, they may be too old as they are rated to only last for seven years. The ISO standard doesn't have an expiration date. So if your glasses only has the CE standard, get rid of them and get new ones. Only buy glasses from reputable and known sources. They're listed on AAS.org, the American Astronomical Society. Be aware of scammers and counterfeiters, because as we get closer to the eclipses, more will pop up on eBay, Amazon, and everywhere else on the internet. Do not use these glasses if the glasses are damaged, your eyes start to feel strained after just a short observing period, that means they're not protecting your eyes properly, and you can see sunlight reflecting off anything other than the sun itself, or reflections of the sun such as a car windshield, or light sources with equivalent brightness. So let's get to the glasses. Like the adult version, these are black black polymer and not the black silver polymer as we see in the other brands that I reviewed. This means that there is no orange sky glow around the sun like the other brands. And to reiterate what I said in my previous video, that glow is only really visible through the camera. The difference between the glow of black black polymer and black silver polymer is negligible. Can't really notice it when you're just looking at it with your eyes. Just like the last video, I had this rig set up again to test this uh, using my 300 millimeter uh, lens to see what the image of the sun actually looked like. So I set up outside and I took this like the other glasses and I took some pictures of the sun. This is one shot taken at ISO 800 f 5.6 at 300 millimeters uh, with an exposure of 1 50th of a second. And this one here is at ISO 200 at 1 80th of a second. The sunspot you saw here is not visible to the naked eye, not for me at least. So let's take a closer look at the KISS glasses. We have the warnings to the left, as well as the ISO rating 12312-2. The glasses part says that it's for children 7 to 12 years old. So if you're over 12, congratulations, you are an adult. At least for solar eclipse glasses. If your child falls under the age, I would say use discretion, use your own discretion, make sure you supervise them, make sure that 
your kids don't damage their eyes when they're looking at the sun. At the end here, we have a QR code for an app as well as instructions for use. Now let's compare the sizes of the kids' glasses versus the adults' glasses, also made from Lunt. So here's a top-down view of the kids' glasses versus the adult glasses. You can see that the adult glasses is about an inch longer than the kids' glasses, but you can see that size-wise, the kids' glasses is much wider. So if we lay them on top of one another, you can see exactly what I mean. Um, so here we have the adult glasses. You can see that the adult glasses is way longer on this side, uh, and the kids glasses is way bigger on that side. So if I use my caliper to measure what the sizes are, so the kids glasses here, this part, the uh, each individual part is 53 and a half millimeters, or an inch, inches, it's 2.1 inches, 2.11 inches. And the adult glasses is 39 millimeters or 15.3 inches or 1.5 and 53 inches, not 15 inches. Now if I measure the actual optics, the glasses part of the kids, it's about 29.1 millimeters, uh, give or take. And then the adult one here is a little bit smaller. 26.1, so it's about three millimeters smaller than the kids one. And if we look at the width, so the kids one here is from there to there, it's 37.8 millimeters, again, give or take, not the precisest. And the adult one is from here to here. The adult one is slightly wider, so it's 40.1 inches. So. So there you go, that's the size measurements between the two glasses. The other brands of Eclipse glasses that I reviewed, they're comparable to this. They're pretty much the exact same size. As for my own review of these glasses, I actually like these a little bit more than the adult glasses. Although the solar filter part is a tiny bit smaller than the adult glasses, the glasses themselves were actually a lot more comfortable on my face. And since the cardboard around the actual eye filters are bigger, it blocks more of the sun. So I don't have to try and squint and try and like block the sun when it's directly above me. The cardboard itself is also thicker. It's really hard to see in video, uh, but it's easy to feel. It's definitely not thick enough to see the difference using my caliper, but it does feel really nice. So I think these will be my primary glasses for the eclipses. Although I'll have copies of the other Eclipse glasses as well, so I can switch them in and out just in case I damage them. I was able to get feedback from three actual kids. First is seven-year-old Lily. She used these glasses and gave it two thumbs up for both performance and comfort. Thank you, Lily, I appreciate it. Next, we have four and a half-year-old Clara and eight-year-old Owen. So you'll notice that Clara is under the recommended age of seven, but my friends Nathan and Claudia do a really great job supervising her, making sure that she used these glasses safely. So follow their lead, and let's see what Clara and Owen have to say about these glasses. Final question. What happens when you look at the sun? Make sure your eyes are covered. Yeah. What does it look like? It just looks like huge. It looks like a circle with a little bit of light coming around it. Cool. Other than that, I see black. Well, that first up, they yeah. are really useful because, like, if there's nothing blocking the sun, I just see the sun, which makes it really easy to see. I also noticed that the sun is usually yellow. It, it almost looks like a, I don't know, it almost looks like the, a full moon but orange and with nothing else. A little ball, some black, and a little bit of light coming out. And that ball is very small. Thank you, Owen and Clara. Owen has his own channel called Owen Explains Everything. Check him out when you get the chance. Link in the description below. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'll be giving away a bunch of these adult glasses uh, in an upcoming video. So subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. I haven't worked out a system yet, but I think it'll be first come, first serve. I'll be giving away about a hundred of them during this outreach. Uh, I normally go out and do outreach, but due to a, a child, a new baby, uh, I don't have that much time anymore. So I thought I'd just do it through the internet and our United States Postal Service. 
I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about anything I covered today, please ask. Uh, if you want to order these glasses for yourselves, I have the links in the description below. They are referral links. Pretty much anything I get from these referrals are going right back into my outreach for the upcoming eclipses. And if you want to support my channel further, you can go to nastronomy.com shop. I have some t-shirts on sale. I'll probably put my prints up there somewhere as well. Uh, all of that will go straight back into the channel. And I really appreciate all of your support. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, clear skies.